Good morning uh, from Arabian Travel Market. Uh, very pleased to welcome Sir Brian Moran, uh, Global Vice President, uh, Sustainability Policies and Partnerships at uh, Boeing. Thank you very much for being with us. Very interesting presentation. Um, sustainable aviation is key, as you know, uh, especially in the UAE and the region. Uh, we talked about SAF, we talked about the future. How can we accelerate the implementation of SAF here in the Middle East? Look, the Middle East has huge opportunities around sustainable aviation fuels for a number of reasons. It starts with the feedstock. Renewable electricity and the investments being made here in solar and nuclear uh, and energy storage uh, make for great ingredients and the baseline uh, for power to liquid as a, as a SAF pathway. But it requires a couple of things. Um, from our perspective and what we see in other parts of the world, a policy mechanism that incentivizes and establishes sort of a SAF market has worked out really well in other parts of the world. So that's one. Uh, continuous investment in R&D is, is another. And then just access to capital and all those elements we've seen in other sectors here in the UAE. So we're quite optimistic that, uh, you know, for the potential for SAF here. Yeah, uh, 95 or 90 plus of uh, uh, SAF is being produced out of California, which is too far from the Middle East. Uh, you as head of uh, the global partnerships of Boeing, how can we attract uh, startups and uh, global payers into the Middle East? Yeah, what happened in California is they uh, put in, uh, in place a blender's tax credit. So an incentive for companies to go and produce this fuel in California. And that's, so it's no secret, there was an incentive of $1.25 to about $1.75 per gallon, and that attracted investment that attracted companies to set foot in California and, and finish the staff there. So again, back to policy mechanisms. By the way, this blender's tax credit now has been elevated to the Inflation Reduction Act, so it's now at federal level in the U.S. So these types of incentives um, send a signal to the market, uh, and it could be one option here. Again, far be it from Boeing to tell a government uh, what to do and what policies to implement, but we're seeing incentive-based uh, policy work quite well. On the other side, in Europe, uh, last week, um, the governments passed the Refuel EU Act, which uh, sets a mandate for SAF by, by a certain period. So that's how the Europeans are choosing uh, to incentivize or stimulate uh, the SAF production. Uh, and here in the Middle East, you mentioned the players in California. What about the players in Europe, for example, and bringing uh, bring them to the Middle East? Yeah, look, I think it's all about uh, sending signals, right? And uh, uh, the good news is there's already investment uh, being made right now in SAF here in the UAE. Uh, some of our partners, like uh, Lanza Tech, as an example, is a is a uh, one of the leading companies in, in uh, sustainable aviation fuels, is already partnering with local industry here to produce some staff. But it needs to be scaled. So uh, one of the things that Boeing is doing to help out is we just launched an accelerator program as part of our uh, strategy group, where we're bringing in interesting uh, and exciting startups and uh, exposing them to uh, our strategy and our challenges, and if you will, run a bit of a competition and uh, may the best win. Brian, thank you very much for being with us today. All the best. Thank you.